Good morning and namaste, my friend. Welcome to Namaste Today in the Zodiac Weather. My name is Christopher Wateki. I am the Sensei to Serious Joy, here to stand in my heart and walk in the light. Such an honor to light walk with you today, my friend. We're love casting live in five dimensions on the beautiful Temple of Gaia, now on Thursday, February 5th, 2015. And I've chosen this beautiful violet kind of day because today is going to be a high spiritual vibration. Turns out that violet flowers are the most rare flowers. And that led to the fact that violet clothing was so rare in the old times because it took a lot of violet flowers to make violet clothing. Therefore, purple was a royal color because it was very rare. It is indeed a very high vibration color, the highest vibration color. And I've also remember from my years when I was uh, going to Catholic church as a kid, lots of purple, especially around Easter right? We naturally attune to this high vibration, and today it's time to attune that high vibration, high vibration, because step 16, Aquarius, rules the day. We are getting higher and higher and higher. Today, with step 16 ruling, it's easier to connect to spirit than usual. Subtle vibrations are more prominent, I guess. That's the best way. Uh, and it's easier to connect, easier to find truth, And if you've been watching, we've been doing a lot of clearing, particularly around the heart and particularly around old wounds of the heart. And today we're going to continue with that clearing, although we're going to focus on fear due to Black Lilith. I'll talk about that in the Cosmic Clock. But before I do, let's first tame our brain, shall we, with the phrase of the day. I am listening to what senses tell me. And these are all senses, by the way. We'll talk about that in the Sensei Sunrise, but I am listening to what senses tell me today, and so it is. That's what we want our mind to do. Today is not a day for our mind to be logical, come up with a plan. Uh, Really, you just want to go through your duties of the day and be listening all day long to what your senses tell you. That might be what you smell in the room, and that's also what you sense about your boss or you sense about your coworker. And you're just listening. That's observation to what my senses tell me today. And so it is. I thought so. So the serious step of the day is step 16, and the architecture of incarnation is like this. We stand on the platform of loving and trusting and protecting what we are manifesting this month. What we are manifesting is our belonging. Where do we belong on earth? Where do we belong in this company? Where do we belong in this family? Right? So we are opening up to giving and receiving today. That's the listening. Like, oh, okay. And today, with it adding to step seven, the seventh state of awareness, we are listening to the seventh state. At the end of the day, or if you allow all three dimensions of consciousness to happen, I manifest, I give, I receive, then I sense will open up and you'll be able to listen. So today is an excellent day to ask yourself and your higher self and your team of light, what is uh, something you don't know? What is the path uh, that you have not seen? What is the answer you have not considered? These are all great questions for a day like today. So let's look at the color therapy. Now just to review, orange is the earth. We are now manifesting. We open up the give and receive channel, which is through the throat. So this is why we ask questions, right? Particularly ones our heart has. Definitely want to ask questions of the heart. If you can't ask somebody, ask out loud. And if you want, if you want to know a powerful statement, all you have to say to the universe is, I wonder, da-da-da-da. And if you say, I wonder, and your heart says, really, I wonder, then it begins right there with the universe beginning to answer your questions. And this all adds up to violet. So today we are kind of uh, really compounded in violet energy. And the moon is in Virgo, so our heart chakras are also lined up. We really are attuned to tune in to our higher self. So today, do some breath work if you can, at least three breaths in and three breaths out, through the front of the green chakra and the back of the green chakra. The front is your heart being open to the future. The back is you letting go of your heart's hurts in the past. And also open up your crown for truth and be sure to protect it so that nothing interferes with your broadcast to God. It's simple and it's uh, in command of your consciousness because you say so. Now let's take a look at the cosmic clock and see the timing of things today.
So we are moving around the clock, and we're at step 16, Aquarius. More than halfway through now this transit, and now it starts to get interesting as far as the age of Aquarius is concerned. Now we move into the more cliche parts of the vibration. That is humanity, getting along, being able to get along, individuality, the power of the I in the context of the we. And that is how the matrix does work. Uh, and today is a day of connecting the spirit to kind of get a satellite view of where we are so far in that dynamic. Now, our minds are looking back. Mercury is retrograde, and today at step three, you may be reconsidering, retrograde, re, reconsidering a uh, belief, step three, a primary belief. So you might, for instance, be operating on the primary belief that it's always you're always supposed to be a blue-collar worker, or the primary belief that it's supposed to be hard work to be successful, or the primary belief that girls don't get ahead. If that's a false belief, in other words, something your heart doesn't agree with and doesn't believe in, then it's time to turn around that primary belief. So today you might be getting to some primaries, and that's something to be listening for when you listen to your inner monologue. And the moon is in Virgo, and this is why the fear consciousness is coming up. The moon is crossing Black Lilith, as you well know. We've been talking about her. And Black Lilith is the shadow of was, what was pain. And the shadow of what was pain is, in essence, uh, just asking for fear. <laughs> and I'm finding, as I watch Black Lilith now, a lot more prominently, this is my second year of watching her, that it really does uh, make an excellent tool for predicting when fears will come up in my clients. Excellent, excellent tool. And myself, unfortunately. I'm sitting here going, where's my Black Lilith? <laughs> so uh, today, because the moon's in Virgo and Black Lilith's in Virgo, these are our fears and our worst fears realized, Virgo. Our worst fears digested, Virgo. Our worst fears uh, seen before our eyes. In some cases, people are witnessing. If you witness one of your worst fears, I had a client text me and say she witnessed like this almost horrible accident in front of her. And I think sometimes when we witness things like that, we're actually working on our fears. We don't want it to happen to us, but we have put so much energy into it that we law of attracted to someone who did put enough energy into it. And we see it in front of our eyes. And then we go, what do we say? I don't want that. Right? <laughs> and we don't, you know? So today we're going to talk about fear and the fears that may come up. Now, making this more of a pain in the astro is that this black loaf is opposing Neptune and Pisces. I wouldn't say it's more of a pain, actually. I think this is God's blessing, literally. Neptune, which is the physical three-dimensional portal into the God consciousness, the absolute, is basically open to pouring energy into this all the way down that pipe and through the fear. So we are wired to end this fear. And this uh, Black Lilith Neptune uh, work, and then Black Lilith will be opposing Chiron, the healer itself. So we are healing our reality. Every time these things line up and the moon comes around, it's like a yeah. It's like a zap, a ha, you know, a healing, like one of my sound effects. Um, and, uh, and we are healing. So today is an opportunity for healing. All right, let's go here. Sorry, one more. So looking at the metaphysics of that Pisces side today. Um, oh, I did move Venus up. Venus actually moved up to step 11, which is giving and receiving of healing. So part of that God ray, that ray of light coming from Neptune down to Chiron, that God ray, that ray of light is doing a healing. There's hitting one note of healing with Venus. It's hitting a note of peace and healing with Chiron because Chiron is healing. Chiron rules 11. All right, if you don't know. And then Mars is saying and manifest. And step 19 is and manifest. So we're and manifesting that. And what does that turn into? A higher faith. See that? Wonk. And you can see through the consciousness. So this is how God is massaging you today. And of course, Neptune is six totally opened up. Now, our heart and emotions uh, is this way, step 16, about halfway up. So the sun is about halfway up. So if you were to compare that to the Pisces, you can see that our overall love consciousness is, well, we can compare it to Pisces right there. Wow, that's great. I love that. Just throw that right now on the fly. Inspiration. Now they're all together. So you can see how it all plays together. The sun is vibrating about there. The moon is technically down at 11 with Venus because it's a step 11 in Virgo. So it's kind of vibrating down with Venus. Uh, and this is the orchestra of healing that's going on today in your life. All right. And I'm excited. Are you? 
So the release of fears is the essence of the day. That is the truth. And that can either be an easy thing or a hard thing. And I'll help you with either of those paths here in the Sensei Sunrise. So you've probably heard this before, fear is false evidence appearing real. And people are like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But do you apply it? So I think a lot of fear will come up today. And fear is false evidence appearing real. What is it? It's the empty space you're holding for what, that, for what you hope doesn't happen. So instead of filling it with light, people let it stay as an open gut of consciousness there. This bruise sitting in your awareness, all right? And in fact, it's false evidence appearing real. Now, that's how you identify it. So if you find yourself in fear today, the first thing you do is you say, is this false evidence appearing real? Am I being evicted today? Am I starving today? Can I get to work today? And today is what it's all about. And when you're facing fear, today is what it's all about. Here's a rule. You cannot apply tomorrow to facing a fear. You can only face a fear today for it to actually work and go away forever. You cannot try to create face a fear in the future because you're really just playing now at that point uh, RPG games in your head, you know, and you're not even connected. You have to connect to reality to change reality at that time. Remember, what you be is what comes, which means you must be fearless in order for fearlessness to come. So let's go through the steps of releasing our fear, shall we? Whoops, that's the wrong step. Step zero, (laughs) identify the fear and protect. So basically, we're going to manifest healing where there once was fear. And step zero is to identify the fear and protect it. So um, I am afraid of losing this. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is protect what I'm afraid of losing. I just protect it. I want the best outcome. Please, universe, make it happen. Make it so. All right? And putting those conscious walls up is the beginning This is like cleaning the wound and putting bandages on it, right? You clean it and you put bandage on it. That's the first thing is to keep more germs out of the wound. Medicine has figured this step zero out, all right? Then uh, I think I missed my next one. Oh, yeah, thank you. I love you too. That was an – that's interesting. That's so interesting. That's a mercury retrograde mistake, but this is such a good take. I'm not going to go back. So step one is exactly that. Oh, my God. That's kind of this is an interesting thing. This is a mistake, but it's better. Step one is I love, right? So I think with I love, it's thank you. I love you, too. The universe is telling us exactly what to do today, but that is exactly it. Basically, to fill the fear, to actually fill the fear. So if you're sitting there terrified that – um, you're, uh, that you're not going to pay the rent. That's been mine. I'm a Taurus, so I tend to be terrified over money issues. Granted, it takes six weeks to get you out, you know, in California, but, like, I'll still be like, ah, full of fear. Uh, you, I first, I protect it, like, well, I don't want to be evicted. I don't want to have to feel that way. I really want to feel totally safe, da-da-da. Please protect the universe. Step one is... Thank you. I love you, too. You literally add love, 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 love. So fill that little swimming pool up with love, okay? Love is that you feel the love. You have to feel the love to channel it in. If you're not feeling the love, you're not channeling it. While you're feeling love, you won't feel the fear, all right? All right. Cool. Cool mistake. And then step two, you must feel for peace. If fear, if fear persists, rinse and repeat. Go back to step zero. So the second step, so step zero is I protect. Step one is uh, I love you and thank you. The thank you is the gratitude. Step th- uh, step two is feel around. Are you at peace? If you're at peace, you can stop for now until fear comes up again. Try not to think of the things that cause fear. That's you beating yourself up and re-triggering, undoing your work. All right? So try not to undo your work. Don't let your mind mess with the peace once it's there. That's part of protecting it. Fill it with love. Be grateful in that filling it with love. And then feel for the peace. We don't need to take it beyond step two when we're filling up potholes. And that's what really fear is. Fear is the potholes in our consciousness, right, that we fall into. And it just slows you down and blocks you from your potential. 
So today, for those who are subscribed to Serious Joy, I will text you at 1111. Which state of awareness in your soul, in this incarnation I mean, is the most psychic? Each of us use one state as our favorite, all right? And I'll tell you what your favorite is. Then at 3.03 p.m., I'll actually talk about which state actually controls your intuition. So we often like to uh, use one state, like our emotions, to listen, but then we use our mind to control it, or our mind to decide, or our ego to decide. So I'll tell you both of those today in your personal sensei service. And when we come back, I have your zodiac weather and the rock and roll gospel of the day. Introducing Secrets of Birthdays. Bow chicka bow wow. Are you ready to find love? Bow chicka bow wow. Your secrets are coming out. Bow chicka bow wow. All those sexy secrets are available at secretsofbirthdays.com. Bow chicka bow wow, baby. So garden. Where the And welcome back to Namaste today. Let's move on to our rock and roll gospel. Rock and Roll Gospel is based on the fact that I think there are three ingredients to serious joy. The first one is love, the second one is song, and the third is laughter. You can say love, laughter, and song, whichever is your favorite direction to go in that. And I think you should try to laugh today, and I think you should try to sing today. And we are exploring awesome groups that I think vibrationally changed the plateau of life, the innovators of as groups. And today, it's Jethro Tull. Remember Jethro Tull? Thick as a brick. One of my favorite total songs. And what I love is that there's a, a flautist in this, and there's total awesome flute like a company. And the classic musician in me loves that. I love that they did that in the 70s, that they'd bring in an orchestra whenever they wanted to. That's just so awesome. And this is a song that'll kind of get you into a totally different vibe. They have a magic that kind of. Uh, releases you from the present and takes you into some space-time continuum that's theirs, which was very common with some of these groups, uh, as you well know, like Pink Floyd and others. So listen to little Jethro Tull today and, uh, and go off on someone else's adventure if yours gets too heavy. But before you go off on your adventure... Let's take a look at the moods of each of your brothers and sisters today. And... Trying to help them of where they are facing fear in the garden, where you are fe uh, releasing fears between. These are the areas that I believe you are releasing fears between with that opposition of the party in Pisces down to the moon meets Black Lilith in Virgo. Starting with the Scorpios. Cloudy and social today for the Scorpions. Now I think you're facing the fear of social, rejecti re social rejection versus your heart's wishes today. So, social rejection versus heart's wishes. Step one, the Leo, sunny and manifesting today. But I think you're releasing fears between poverty or low self-confidence and actually trusting. Step two, the Cancer, sunny and pensive today. But I think you're releasing fears between negative thinking and actual believing. Step three, the Sagittarius is sunny and professional today. But I think you're releasing fears between failing at your goals and feeling secure. Step four, the Aquarians, cloudy and sensitive today. But I believe you are releasing fears between betraying yourself and making money. Mm, and that betrayal might be to your ideals and your individuality. Just saying. Step five, the Geminis. You are cloudy, nesting and resting. But releasing fears between being unstable or unstable, instable, I don't know, retrograde, I get away with it, and trusting your career. So feeling emotionally stable and trusting your career. I guess it's on. Step six, the Librans. I'm getting text messages as this comes in. Cloudy and spiritual today for the Librans, high in your upper self, but you're releasing fears between feeling doomed and actually making it happen. Step seven, the Pisces, sunny and sentimental today, but you are releasing fears between failing yourself and strength alone. That's an interesting one, eh? Step eight, the Capricorns, cloudy and pensive, but releasing fears between being ignorant or not knowing enough and actually thinking positive. Step nine, the Aries, cloudy and hypersensitive today to their environments, but you are releasing fears between failing in life and having true faith. Then, the Tauruses, step 10, cloudy, feeling rather tender today, releasing fears between broken hearts and lost dreams and actual social, social belonging potential. 
And the Virgos, cloudy but feeling cool with the moon in their sign, releasing fears between feeling like a failure or being a failure and self-compassion. So moving along on our way, uh, if you are watching on YouTube, please be kind and do subscribe. We thank you ahead of time for that. It helps us in our YouTube relationship. And be our friend at Facebook uh, at soulgarden.me. I'll be posting pictures of the convention this weekend up there. And you can come to soulmart.me to join our email list. Thank you so much. Gratitude. And when I say there, I'll be at the expo tomorrow in the next couple of days. It's going to be an interesting time. Come on down and say hello, and I'll tell you a secret. You don't have to actually buy a ticket to see us because we are at the very first table so come on up even if you can't afford it and you live in the neighborhood i would love to say hello and give you a hug and a modern monies came out yesterday a fantastic one about forced vaccinations and just to add light to some fear i had a couple of uh, people commenting about is this a political show no this is a show where the mommies are protecting their children and that's part of our point is that uh, it's time to put light in this and stop you know, running from these things. We need to see what's going on. And I love the mommy perspective because it has the highest intention and good to procreate healthy kids on the earth. So anytime you think that we have a low vibration here on Soul Garden, let's work together just to raise that light because that's what we want to do. Raise it higher, not be caught in the fears. So this is where the slide actually was meant for. So I think you witnessed a little God. That's how God uh, works with me. I make a mistake and something comes in and I'm just like, oh, that's God coming in through a mistake. So for me, God's coming through a mistake. And this was actually to thank two donors, Deborah and Allison, for your recent donations. Thank you so much. I love you too was my uh, slide for you. So you saw it and you saw it in action. Thank you so much. So remember, the Mothership of Light is soulgarden.tv. Come on down and put your feet up. Look at any of the content we have and come by and say hello. I know it's a hard path out there, my friend, but we have plenty of light for you here. So I love you. Have a fabulous 24 hours. I'll see you with the Friday show soon. Until then, remember I love you and live, love, be. <laughs> this is just so ironic.